Hey guys, so one of my favorite places in Manchester, I've actually launched a brand new menu. Now this place, I'm gonna show you now, it's known for its dessert, but they have one of the, just the best burgers that you're gonna have in Manchester, but they've launched a brand new menu, which I'm gonna check out today and I'm hearing really good things. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna do the intro outside, it's just down there, but it is very wet. I think I just need to kind of brave the weather and do it, it's not too far from here. So yeah, I hope this is worth it, I really do. Like I said, I love the burgers, but I've never had this new menu. There's a tiny bit of shelter, but it's, uh, it's just down there, guys. Right, here we go. It's called Big Lick. Haven't actually been here for a while, so I'm excited. Actually, I'm excited to get out of the rain, but I'm excited to try the food. Quick one, right? This place, this place just looks awesome. You know what, guys? I actually love coming into this place. Massive, always looks good. I've had a peruse of the new menu. I'm definitely getting myself a hot dog. Get myself a hot dog. They've got katsu loaded fries. Has anyone ever seen katsu loaded fries? I haven't. So I'm definitely gonna check that out. I'm gonna place my order, coming to table nine, and I'm gonna show you the food off to you. Okay, food is here. I may have slightly over ordered, but look at this loaded hot dog. You don't get many hot dogs, halal hot dogs, right? We've got ourselves a quad burger. Guys, stick around for this. We've got some sides. I just wanted some spicy bites, some mac and cheese, um, mac and cheese bites. We've got some katsu loaded fries. Katsu burger. But if you are new here, guys, I do food related videos all up and down the country. If you want to check some more out, make sure you hit subscribe so when I upload the videos, they come up in your feed. And also turn on all notifications, please. I feel like I really should be starting with the new items, right? Like the hot dog, but honestly, the burger has my heart. This burger is so good. It's one of the best in Manchester in terms of smash patty burgers. What we're going to do actually is we're going to go for these loaded katsu fries. I did see other loaded fries, but katsu chicken like with the curry sauce, that panko crumb. You don't really get that many places, right? So I thought, why not? Let's get this. Start with a big old chunk of chicken, to be fair, with some of the fries. Oh. That's actually marvelous. This is genuinely marvelous. The chips here, if you watch my previous review, I like anyway. Well, the Cajun fries are really good, but they've leveled them up with some really nice fried chicken, a great, the curry sauce, the katsu sauce is fantastic. These guys are a, a definite buy. I don't know about everything else, but these are a definite buy and we're kicking off strong with a hay man. And you know if something gets a hay man, you have to try it. What we're gonna do next is actually not go for the, the katsu burger because I kind of want to save that for a little bit down the road. This is what's calling me. So this is their new line of hot dog. Let me just read out to you what it actually has. So. The hot dog, the wrong side, is a quarter pounder beef hot dog. It's got nacho cheese sauce. They've got their own house burger sauce, crispy fried onions, house seasoning, and it's in a brioche bun. So there's actually quite a lot there. As you can see, this is like actually really sizable. This is a, a big hot dog. This is a big boy. This is a big one. Let's try and not get my clothes messy. There's just a lot going on here. There's just a lot of meat, there's a lot of sauces, crispy onions, jalapenos in there too. You know what? The cheese sauce balances with the burger sauce so well. You've got some mellow, you've got a little bit of a punch. The jalapenos add some like acidity. Guys, right? That is genuinely a very, very, very good hot dog. I don't get hot dogs often because they're often not halal in most places. That is a great sausage. That's a great brioche bun. This is something I would comfortably get. Now, this is the thing. I love the burgers here so much. Would I pick this over a burger? That I do not know about because the burger is, is so good here. However, if you fancy a hot dog, you will not, you cannot go wrong with that. You cannot go wrong with this. Considering it's like the first hot dog they've done, that is just a great, great effort. I'm gonna ask if they'll do any other flavors. I think I would like more of a classic hot dog as well, just like mustard and ketchup. But I imagine if you ask, they'll just do that for you. The katsu burger <laughs> and then we've got this one difference in this burger uh, is that previously i think they did a double patty i don't think they did a quad which is of course four as you can see here guys there's four big juicy patties these look a little bit chunkier than the last time i came they look a little bit thicker i would say there's a lot more meat going on let's give it a go let's see if it still gets the hay man i said this was the best uh, hot food item in any dessert shop i've been to because it was honestly that good there's four patties here Let's try and get my mouth around it. Oh. I loved it before. 
I think I love it more now. These patties, they've got a really good bite to them. A really, really good bite. The seeded bunions are nice. The burger sauce is great. There's some onions in there. Guys, I know if you're coming to here, you're probably thinking of the dessert because they're really famous for that. Give the burgers a go. They get a hey man and genuinely, when I'm in Manchester, I pop by. Me and my brother, Foodie Ninja, you'll notice on his socials, he's always here. He's always here because we genuinely love this burger. It's getting a comfy hey man. And something that I would definitely recommend. What I would say is I personally would get a double. I think a double is more than enough meat and I'd get the loaded fries, that'll fill you up. If I had this whole beast, most of you, this with the loaded fries is probably gonna be a little bit too much for you, but it's nice that they have the option. I kind of keep wanting my self to uh, go back to this to be honest so it's kind of a I only had one bite and now I kind of want a second bite and a third and a fourth and a fifth but I'll be recording for other platforms so I'll be taking more bites very soon anyway moving on now to the katsu burger when I had their burgers before the chicken burgers I like them the buffalo dip burger with blue cheese was nice I didn't however uh, think it was it wasn't in the same league as the beef so it's not something that I would personally get but I think Again, it was a, a decent option if you just fancy chicken. But guys, come in here, get dessert and the beef burgers and the katsu uh, fries and the hot dog now, okay? But let's actually try the chicken burger first. I don't want to prejudge it, you know? That katsu sauce is doing bits, you know? I have to say the katsu sauce itself, you can see on my finger, it's doing bits. It's good. I still maintain my opinion. I'm a beef guy when it comes to this place. I'm getting the beef. If you want chicken, just get these. Get the hot dog. The burger itself is, is decent, it's tasty, but again, you know, if we're being critical, uh, as all my reviews are critical and honest, it does not stack up to the beef. In my humble opinion, guys have big licks. It's just opinion of one guy. Uh, side note, people here are really friendly. Um, every time I come in, I have a really good chat with the owner, as a wicked guy, and I've just met some of the other staff and just lovely, lovely people. So like, please don't dislike because I said I prefer the beef. You know, it is what it is. Getting any value or entertainment from this video, please make sure you subscribe because I upload regularly. What I want to do now, right, is I want to try, I always get sides in a, a restaurant. I know you go for the mains, but I'll be honest, I always get something on the side. It's just one of those things. So I'll have to check them out. Because if it's a good side, it just complements the meal, right? We're going to try the mac and cheese bites. Oh, so many places. Mac and cheese bites are too dry. They're not cheesy enough. Okay. I'm not just saying this. Under my heart, whoever their supplier is, I do not know that supplier because these are some of the best mac and cheese bites I've had. A crunchy, the cheese blend is fantastic on these. I'm genuinely so impressed with that. A lot of the time, mac and cheese bites are so dry inside, it tastes like dry pasta. This actually tastes like a mac and cheese that's breaded and fried, if that makes sense. It actually tastes like a mac and cheese because often they are not like that. I feel like that comment's gonna get me rinsed in the comments, but if you know, then you know what, what I kind of mean. So we're gonna try the spicy chicken poppers next. I think these are fairly standard. I think they're all fiber. Let's see them. Okay, I can't seem to see them. I think on the other side of the menu. They're okay, these are fine. Again, it's one of those, if with the family, someone, one of the kids is gonna want chicken poppers. Put them with the chips, that's chicken nuggets and chips. It does the job, right? You know what would be good? If they put katsu sauce or like a spicy sauce or like a buffalo um, and just kind of drizzled it, not really dipped, but just kind of drizzled it on top. And I feel like I can't come here without showing some of the ice cream because it's, this, the ice cream here, guys, is serious. It is serious. Let me just show it to you. And some of the desserts. And we've got these slushies, which are very good. I've had a load of these and obviously like, it's a Scottish brand. You've got to have the iron brew rep in it. There's something really cool in here and I couldn't actually resist. I need to show it to you guys. I feel like this is a cool touch. I feel like with this table, they could probably take some of the chairs out from the back and actually put some arcades and stuff like that in. I would love to play with someone right now, but I don't have any friends. So unfortunately, you know, that's not happening. I have no friends, but still, this is like a cool kind of kind of thing, right? I felt like that was definitely worth a shout out because that is so cool. But yeah, if they were to remove like, say, let me show you, those tables that you could just see there, right? You could put like lots of cool stuff there. And this would be like a destination kind of place. Guys, keeping it on brand with Scotland, we've got ourselves an iron brew slushy. 
Guys, you know what I'm gonna say. You need to check that place out. It's been one of my favorite places for ages since I did my first review, like, I don't know, it feels like a year ago. Maybe it's been less, I'm not actually sure, but the new menu is fantastic. The burgers as always are, are brilliant. The dessert, which I just didn't fancy dessert today. I just didn't fancy, I've had it before. It's, the ice cream is, it's just, that's just a quality place. It's just a quality place. The ice cream is fantastic. Made with care, with really good ingredients, great flavors. It's just, I can't recommend it enough. So yeah, check them out. Uh, if you can, hit subscribe on here. There's a ton more videos coming out. I know I wasn't necessarily uh, super, super active with posting in the last kind of six months or so, but I've, I've still tried to put videos out at least weekly. So they are coming. Frequency is gonna be going back up to three times a week as well. So yeah, subscribe, follow, share. Let me know where I should go next actually in the comments and I'll see you guys in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.